and carrot, broccoli and coconut, peaches, apples, apricot, red fruit, jack fruit, sour sap, pistachios, the shoes and almonds, walnut, peanut, also pecan, sesame seeds, sunflower, lemon, orange, pineapple and melon. Something we found out right before we moved to Japan is that in October of 2023, Tokyo Vegan Gourmet Festival will be held. And this is actually the main reason why we wanted to go to Tokyo in the first place. This is actually Japan's largest vegan festival. The Vegan Gourmet Festival originally started in 2011 in Nagoya and has later expanded to Tokyo and Kyoto. The festival is now actually held six times a year, twice in each city, one in the spring and one in the autumn. We unfortunately missed all of the other festivals during our stay in Japan, since this one was the only one we heard about before going to Japan, we kind of dead set ourselves to make it to this one. But when it comes to the other festivals, the one in Tokyo during the spring was held while we bicycled across Shikoku and we didn't hear about it until we already had started bicycling. And although this is in the future from here, we didn't know about the one in Nagoya before it was already held. And so pictures shared from the event. Further into the future, we did actually plan to go to the Autumn Festival in Kyoto. But there was a lot happening for us during that time. More on that in future videos. And it was around here we started to feel exhausted for real. Plus money was short this time around too. So we ended up not having the energy nor the money to go. But this said, I will really advise you to check up on these festivals and see if this takes place next time you visit Japan. You can find their events at veganfest.com or on Instagram, veganfestoffice. And don't be afraid to turn on Google Translate at their website. We didn't film a lot of this festival. We rather wanted to enjoy our time but here is some clips. The festival was primarily stands selling food like burger. This was a really nice breakfast. You could buy a lot of sauces, drinks and a lot of other types of food. samples of different foods there, like curries. Okay, how does this taste? Spicy. Is it spicy? <laughs> oh, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream supplement. But also stands selling makeup, skincare and hemp socks. Ooh, cool. We got to try Bauer Wars and corn dogs for the first time in our lives. Rice cookers. Drinks. With more ice cream. Food samples. And of course, cake. I believe this is the VegFest mascot. And here is more food. And more burgers. And during the last hours of the festival, a meetup took place in the same park. So of course we stayed around for that. And that's our meetup. I see some people sitting there. Best way to end the vegan festival is with a vegan meetup. Yay! As always, we don't film much during the vegan meetups. Simply to keep the privacy of the people showing up. This time it was like a picnic setup, where people gathered around in the park with some blankets and food bought from the festival. 
We of course had a really good time talking to new people, but also meeting up with people we had gotten to know from the previous meetups back during midsummer. This was unfortunately our last vegan meetup in Tokyo, which is really sad since we had started to get along with people and gotten a sense of belonging, but at least we were able to say our final goodbyes to our new friends. And if you as a vegan, or as someone who is curious on veganism, ever travel to Tokyo, check out if there are any vegan meetups or events during your stay. While we were there, we could find the events at the meetup app and on Instagram. And don't worry, most of the people participating do speak English, so language should not be a big problem. I would really recommend you to go. We uh, were at that uh, picnic or uh, vegan meetup thing, and uh, all of a sudden we found ourselves in Shibuya. We got, I, I don't know if we got teleported here or whatever. It, uh, it was really weird. But we're here somehow, and we got some suggestion for somewhere to eat this evening. Um, we're out of plans for today, so uh, just see if we see something interesting or uh, if there is a very interesting stroll we can take or any like really crazy, fancy thing like this uh, 3D screen. There's actually quite a few of them. And if somebody wonders why uh, we don't really particularly film much from the vegan meetup series because uh, Japanese people tend to be really scared of cameras. <laughs> Main reason why I uh, use GoPro a whole lot while I'm here because people get frightened and angry. Um, so yeah. Funny enough, uh, I was looking at this symbol and uh, all the other says, here there's a pig and I say, I know, it's, it says pig. But uh, no, no, she, she was, uh, she was uh, thinking about uh, that one over there. <laughs> and the rainbow fish over there. Yeah, and the rainbow fish no, over there. Oh, oh, it's a wing. Oh, I see. Yeah, the wings. I thought it was a fish. <laughs> uh, your eyesight is horrible. Yeah. Uh, one that we met, uh, he basically knew everything to know about this area. Like he, he knew where all like the vegan places are and such. Uh, if we are in the right place. I am not sure why all the hand is holding me back. I could go between those people, no problem. Yeah, let's just rush into people. Uh, yeah. No care in the world. This is Japan by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, manners. It is, okay, so this, it's called manners. Yeah. Um, so it's supposed to be somewhere here. We have walked through the entire thing and we're still not there. Um, it's suggested to walk around the building. Let's try that. We're now taking an entire turn around the building. Maybe up the floor. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. I will try to see, but it, it, the address is set to be somewhere here. No, where are you at? What uh, should we try to enter maybe? I don't know. Could be second floor. There's nothing that suggests wherever we're supposed to go. I could ask someone. And we're so stupid that we don't even check um, the, uh, the map of the place. It's uh, in the basement. Uh, is this a... Uh, is that a... Is this? might be it. This is definitely it. Well, that was uh, really interesting. Uh, sometimes we had to wait for the food for a very long time, but uh, some people got all the dishes at the same time, which is basically what I wanted, but we couldn't get everything we wanted. What, what's up with that? I was asking you. I what? Don't know. You don't know? I thought you knew everything. But again, it was really delicious, and I understand why it's extremely popular. Yeah. And uh, here there are uh, our uh, 
foreigners. I, I hate all foreigners. You are one yourself, you stupid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I forgot about that a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one day I wanna move to a country without any foreigners. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a yeah, Swedish po politician. Yeah, he was like, one day I would want to move to a country that doesn't take in any foreigners. Yeah. <laughs> Does it have make him a foreigner? Yeah, exactly. Baked goods from the festival. Like, we have a lot of cakes, some croissants, and some scones and such. Uh, afterwards, I fetched. They only allowed to sell one uh, in each store, so I went to two different stores. Uh, these new batteries came in in grey instead of blue, uh, which is interesting. Uh, also nice to have a little bit color variation. Am I right? <laughs>